2022 Hyundai Tucson vs 2021 Nissan Rogue, fighting for first. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. By our count, there are about 20 compact crossovers you could buy today, depending on how you decipher the ever-blurring SUV segments. Options range from sporty and stylish to subdued and downright boring. But there are two obvious options at the top of the pack, the 2022 Hyundai Tucson and the 2021 Nissan Rogue. We've tested both of these crossovers individually and scored them highly, each one making huge strides in style, technology, and drivability over their outdated predecessors. So it made sense to pair the two against each other in an effort to see which one of these two standouts stands out most. Working in the Tucson's favor will be its spacious back seat and edgy styling. But the latest Nissan Rogue has an excellent tech suite, impressive levels of comfort, and some of the best safety in the business. Whatever the case, it's a good matchup between these two. Hyundai. Hyundai's current crop is a cacophony of hit and miss, to say the least. The Elantra looks too messy and the Santa Fe has a face that only a mother can love. Meanwhile, others like the Ionic 5, Santa Cruz, and in this case, the Tucson wear the hard-pressed sheet metal exceptionally well. In fact, the Tucson might be the most attractive crossover in the entire class, although I know not everyone at Motor1 agrees. The Tucson's intriguing elements start on the front end. The grille-heavy fascia hides slim LED headlights with waterfall-like accents that cascade down the front bumper. The profile is sharp, with hard creases above the front and rear fenders and harpoon-like taillight fixtures on the rear. The H badge in the back doesn't sit atop the trunk lid either. Instead, it's cleverly integrated into the rear window hidden beneath a single piece of glass that almost makes it look sticker-like. And 19-inch wheels come standard on this range-topping limited model. Whether or not you actually like the design though, Hyundai's attention to detail and the Tucson's unique touches are what make this crossover so interesting to look at. And really, it's one of the few options in the class that is interesting to look at at all. Nissan. Even though I'm obviously partial to the Tucson, the Nissan Rogue does have its own unique style and personality. The front fascia wears the brand's signature V-motion grille, slim LED headlights sit high up on the bumper, and a sizable set of sized fog lights live lower down on the bumper adjacent to the grille. The split light fixture is a trendy look that suits the Rogue well. The Rogue's backside is more anonymous but still clean and inoffensive. The standard LED taillight fixtures wrap around the rear fender, a silvery treatment lower down on the bumper makes the design more rugged, and although Nissan popularized the floating roof in previous models, it's nowhere to be found here, thankfully. This mid-range SL model gets 19-inch wheels as standard, as does the range-topping Platinum model. But while Nissan kept the design of the Rogue relatively safe, in line with previous generations, Hyundai went all out in styling the Tucson, and that's why it gets the edge here. Hyundai. The inside of the Tucson looks sharp thanks to a wraparound dash design that creates a cockpit-like feel, and the unique four-spoke steering wheel makes for comfortable cruising. Most of the materials are high quality, with weighty aluminum fixtures dotting the steering wheel and dash and a 10.3-inch touchscreen that seamlessly integrates into the center console.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.